ensuring that struggles like the civil rights era are not lost on millennials in today's tech generation has one organization taking history on the road. Shakina Donaldson of CNAD is here to explain how they are bridging the gap. Hi, how are you? Hi, and thank you very much for inviting me. So tell me, us. what made you get this started? This all got started very personally in an environment where there was a lot of confusions. And being a concerned citizen, I got involved, and I feel that every American should get involved when they see things that they feel uncomfortable with. They will be surprised when they look in the mirror the things that they can change. And moving forward, and what I believe that our organization, Canadian, has done over the past 13 years, by looking into the mirror and looking at the civil rights movement, but going further back and looking at those who were instrumental and in making major benchmarks in American life and also American experience. And these individuals was key to and the so uplifting of American history, so they're not included. Therefore, what we bring to the table is ways and means of understanding how we can eradicate racism, how we can get um, to focus on the provisions that was made through bullying as well as uh, using certain bills that has been passed to teach African-American history year-round in the school system. Correct. So you have a traveling exhibit, a mobile mu exhibit as well, and you educate school children, you educate just people on people, their history, African-American history. We reach, uh, reach out to all diversity, all ethnicity, because we believe that as America continues to move forward, everyone should know to some degree about each other's culture. And one of the things we bring to the table is the 400 years of culture of Africans, Africans, Americans, and also Africans who live in the diaspora. And it's very key that we all understand and respect each other's culture. As we move forward, uh, Kanad is looking forward to doing a epic um, history or film on the formation of Kanad Inc. and how it continues to travel throughout the community. And what type of response have you seen in the community when you bring this history to them? Well, we bring, when we bring the history to the community, they're very spellbound that they were not aware because African American history is not known respectfully in the history books. American history books. Therefore, what we do, what we're doing, is bringing so many great historians who have been overlooked, as well as others unsung heroes that have also been overlooked, and bringing them out of the shadow into the light, so that people like myself and yourself were given us this opportunity on Comcast to make it happen, help America move forward by eradicating racism, hatred, and bullying. And you're saying it's not just the young people today. It's, no, it's adults it's, alike that, that need to know their history. Exactly. It's all, it's, all, it's all about bridging the gap. And once we bridge the gap, we have a commonality of understanding each other through culture, speaking, the way of music, and also the way of life. And so what are some of the exhibits that you bring? We bring to the table major, three major components. We have the a 10,000 square foot ex exhibition that we install in the government center every year in Miami-Dade County, Florida, and we have the mobile museum that we travel throughout the state of Florida. This is our 707th locations um, traveling, over 990,000 viewers and participants. Wow. And it has a curriculum that has been um, supported by the state of Florida Department right. of Education. Right, and you can bring it to them, and that's the beauty of a mobile yes, museum. You absolutely. can bring it to them. We can bring it to them, especially most of the inner city students or children do not go that's to a great. museum, so we bring the museum All to right. the community. Thank you very much. This hour's newsmaker has been Shakina Donaldson of Kanad. For Newsmakers, I'm Aubrey Aquino. Thanks for joining us.